it is time for an update. So guys, I'm here sitting by my vineyard, my backyard vineyard, that is. Ash, you can see, I've got, I don't know if you can see it all in the uh, camera, but got one row here, second row over there on the other side, and then another row here on the other side, and uh, out of frame, there's another one that I'm growing, but I may move it. I will end up having probably four rows more than likely. Okay, so on my last video, uh, I showed you that I planted two of the cuttings that I had from a year ago. It's those two, and they're growing quite well. But also, back in February, for the shelter in place that took effect, I also able to acquire some cuttings, and I planted them there. And then the two over there in the second row. And then there's another row here, right here. They're actually from two different vineyards. All these are from three different vineyards total. Uh, so, Zins, Cabs, and I believe they're all Cabs. So, not 100% sure. Plenty of those, and actually I didn't have this trellis on my last video. After I posted that video, I think I thought about it and decided I wanted to see my vineyard kind of pleased to have a trellis wanted to see what it would look like and also it's kind of serves as a um, proof of concept. It's kind of crappy but it'll do for now. As you can see I've got two woods here. Uh, this used to be three, six by twos, cut them in half, uh, eight feet long and they are now three by two by eight feet long and I think that's about six feet above the ground. just wanted to see at least I was having um, movement in this project, so there you go, I did it. The other thing that I did was I actually planted the cuttings, my new cuttings from February. Um, back then, they didn't have any leaves, they were actually just had nodes. But from the look of the nodes when I got them, they looked like they were going to break. So I got a little excited, wanted to see a full uh, complement of vines on this trellis. And so I planted them. So uh, I don't have a trellis on that side yet, and I don't have a trellis here, but I'll probably you know, put that into place in a month, two. We'll, we'll see what happens. I just wanted to let this uh, lines go a little longer, or taller rather. From planning standpoint, I plan to have this vineyard here. However, I wasn't really sure how it was going to turn out. Um, initially, I wanted to have this vineyard going this way, uh, which is more of kind of a southeast to northwest kind of thing, simply because I wanted to have a, have a longer uh, and then maybe two or three rows this way. After uh, doing a little bit more research and uh, saw uh, a YouTube video, decided to follow it and have the orientation north-south. Uh, so the idea is to have the sun rise that way, get some sun. As it sets, the sun is going to continue and we'll get the other side. Um, that's not exactly, doesn't really, really uh, pertain to me simply because I've got this tree up here so in the morning um, it'll get some sun for about maybe 30 minutes get covered by the tree and then around noon time it'll be up here and it'll be sunny and then go down there and then um, there's a house that uh, casts a shadow over here so really I only get maybe four to six hours of sunlight so um, but nevertheless, I, I followed the orientation, and that's the best orientation to go is um, north south. So I, I planted the vines that way, and then um, decided to put the trellis up uh, as a proof of concept. I just wanted to see 
how it looks. And then um, uh, kept thinking about it and then decided to plant that, those two rows. Uh, and then plant, decided again to do this row. So um, like I said, I'll eventually put the uh, trellis up here soon. Okay, so I've got this very little space. It's probably about 10 feet in between the, the posts. And I've got, as you can see, I've got three vines here. Um, wanted to have more vines so really you could this space is probably good enough for one when it grows it could have maybe four feet to the left and four feet to the right um, where this first will grow uh, however I, I do wanted more vines uh, and what I'm planning on doing is I've got two wires here and top one here, or oh, there's a third one up here, um, but this will serve to for the spurs to grow. Uh -huh. So the two ends will grow on this one, so now they'll have room to grow. And then the third one, the middle one, will grow on the bottom one. Um, at least that's what I'm envisioning for now. But I may change my mind later. I'm, I'm not really going by the book here. I'm making things up. I'm reading things and then putting things together and then kind of uh, yeah, doing, doing my thing. So the the other row over there, it's kind of the same thing. I'm going to stagger them one. I'm going to have two of these wires as well. And then I'm going to stagger them one. It's going to be on the high wire and then the uh, second one will be on the low wire. The width of the rows is actually about three feet um, and as you can see and the, the reason they're so close together is that one is I don't have really have a, a lot of space here and two basically I think the sun once it gets overhead it's going to be shining down and, and whatever sun it can get I think it will get enough direct sunlight with that 46 hours. Planning this probably uh, a couple weeks after the shelter in place took effect. I figured it would be the best time to start this project. I've been wanting to start this project for a long time, but things came into place and uh, decided to go ahead and do it. Follow me by pressing the follow button as I grow my backyard venue. And if you enjoyed the content, please hit the like button. Thank you.